Ozone presents the Smart Digital Furniture Lock. The Smart Digital Furniture Lock offers a wide variety of features. Unboxing Inside the box you will find a user manual, lock body, cam 4, a screw packet including screwdriver and cam ring and button cell CR2450 of 3 volts. The following tools are required to install the smart furniture lock. Making a cutout in cabinet. Check the thickness of the drawer before proceeding with the installation. Typically a cabinet or drawer panel of 1 to 25 mm thickness is suitable for the furniture lock installation. Open the drawer where the lock needs to be installed. Mark the central point where the lock has to be installed. Drill the holes in the marked position. Pull out the drawer and insert the lock from outside the drawer. Place the square plate inside and mark the outline of the square plate with a pencil. Carefully make a cavity to fix the square plate. Fixing the lock. Insert the front panel on the outer surface. From inside attach the square plate with a ring and tighten it with the help of pliers. At the same place attach the cam on the outside of the ring and fix it with the screw. Inserting the battery. Loosen the screw from the top panel of the lock and pull the battery slot out. Now insert a 3 volt CR2450 button cell. Insert the battery slot back in the lock and tighten the screw with the help of a screwdriver. Always use a high quality 3 volt CR2450 button cell for better performance. Making a cavity for the cam. Paste the adhesive on the cam to make a mark on the upper panel. Now close the drawer and turn the front panel of the lock left and bring it back to the same position. Then pull the drawer out. Now close the drawer or cabinet and turn the lock body anti-clockwise to check the functionality of the lock. Operating the lock-in trail mode. To operate the lock-in default mode, place any finger on the scanner until a long beep sound is heard and the green light indicator turns on. Within 3 seconds, rotate the knob clockwise to unlock the lock. Rotate the knob anti-clockwise to lock again. Note, in default mode, use any finger to open the lock. Registering the master fingerprint. Place the fingerprint on the lock for about one second. A long beep sound will be heard with a green indicator. Again, put the fingerprint on the scanner for three seconds till the time with the green indicator starts along with the beep blinking. Place the finger which you want to make as the master fingerprint on the fingerprint scanner for four times. A short beep will be heard, which means the new master fingerprint has been registered successfully. Opening the lock with new master fingerprint. Place the master finger on a scanner. A beep sound will be heard and the green indicator will turn on. Within three seconds, rotate the knob clockwise to unlock the lock. Rotate knob anti-clockwise to lock it. Registering user fingerprint. Place the master finger on a scanner for about one second. A long beep sound with a green indicator will turn on. Again put the master fingerprint on the lock for about one second. A long beep sound will be heard with the green indicator blinking. Place the user fingerprint on the lock for four times. A short beep will be heard. That means your new user fingerprint 
has been registered successfully. Note, if you hear three short beep sounds, it means that the registration failed. Then change the position of the fingerprint and place the finger on the fingerprint scanner four times. A long beep sound alarm will be heard, which means that the registration was successful. Opening the lock with new user fingerprint. Place the user finger on the lock. A beep sound with a green light indicator will turn on. Within 3 seconds, rotate the knob clockwise to unlock the lock. Rotate the knob anti-clockwise to lock again. Deleting fingerprint. Place the master fingerprint on the scanner. You will hear a long beep sound with the unlocking indicator light on. Again place the master fingerprint on the scanner. You will hear a long beep sound with the unlocking indicator light flash. Place the master fingerprint third time on the scanner. You will hear a long beep. Put the master fingerprint on the lock for 3 seconds. All the registered fingerprints will be deleted successfully. Low battery indicator. Low battery status can be indicated by three beep sounds followed by the activation of the red light indicator. Be alert and change the battery before it dries off. Emergency battery backup. If the batteries are completely out of charge, then connect an external power supply through the USB opening. Open the lock with the registered management or use a fingerprint. The drawer or cabinet can be unlocked thereafter. Change the batteries immediately. Always use a high quality 3 volt CR2450 button cell for better performance. Contact Ozone Customer Care for more assistance. The Smart Digital Furniture Lock from Ozone. Designed for your safety, your security, your protection.